Welcome to F260, week 31, John chapter 1, entitled, The World Was Made Flesh, John 1, 14. Uh, highlight verse is John 1, 1 and 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Explaining this, these two verses make up one of the most profound statements of the Bible. The Word that was made flesh is Jesus Christ, who was with and in God from the beginning, and who was and is God. Applying this, there are scores of verses in the Bible that attest to the divinity of Jesus Christ. But I would like to focus on the ones in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11, which tell us that Jesus Christ was God himself, taking form in a human body and emptying, emptying himself of his godly prerogatives. Mere man cannot torture and kill God, but for the sake of everyone who has ever sinned, and that includes all of us, Jesus allowed himself to suffer crucifixion, the most excruciating form of execution devised by man. <clears throat> his face was punched until it was swollen beyond recognition. His beard plucked out, his flesh ripped open by the unrelenting scourge, and his hands and feet nailed to a wooden cross. He was the second person of the Godhead. In the fullness of time, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit in the womb of a virgin and became one of us. For the sake of his own servants, the Master himself became a servant. The Son of God became the Son of Man, that sons of men could become sons of God. It pleased the Father that his Son should suffer and die for our redemption. And God the Son was obedient to God the Father. Uh, Philippians 2.10.11 says, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. <clears throat> this occurs at Jesus' coronation after his second coming, when God the Father restores to his Son all the godly prerogatives he had emptied himself of for our sakes. Now we belong to him, not only because he is our creator, but also because he is our Lord and Redeemer. Um, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages, languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Daniel seven thirteen to 14. My response, Jesus Christ is king of the universe. Amen. God bless.